No question about why men are killing themselves, because life for a man is harder than life for a woman. Most men live depressing lives. Women have an innate value that prevents them from ever being truly depressed. You can be the fattest, ugliest bitch in the world. You can go to a club tonight and get some put, get some dick. You, you can't, true or false? True or false? You can always get a new experience, at least. At least you can feel wanted for 10 minutes by that fucking crazy Congolese dude who'll bang anything. But at least, at least you feel wanted for 10 minutes, right? For most men out here, they can't even feel wanted. Their wife left them. No, they're invisible to women. Their kids don't talk to them. They're just not wanted. They don't, they're not wanted by any, of course they're depressed. This is a unique situation that happens to men. This does not happen to women. So of course more men kill themselves. On top of that, society has huge burdens on men. You can be a woman and be 40 and be broke. No one gives a shit. If you're a man and you're 40 something and you're fucking broke and ain't got a car, people are a bit like, how the fuck did you fuck your life up, bro? You're 40 and ain't got a car? We're supposed to be smart. We're supposed to be rich. We're supposed to be interesting. We've got to have jokes, got to have chat lines, right? Got to be charming, got to be cool, experiences, stories. We need to have a lot of shit to be an important man. To be a woman, you need makeup. If you're a hot woman, you don't need, if you're truly beautiful, you don't need anything else. I've been on boats in Dubai with 19 year old Moldovan girls. The guy who got that boat needed a hundred million dollars. That bitch, makeup, same boat, bro. Same boat, that's how hard it is. Look at a game of chess. The king moves one square at a time. He has to really work his way across the board. What does the queen do? Zips here, zips there. Easy for a chick, right? Now, if you're an ugly bitch, you can go, oh yeah, it's fine for the hot ones, but I'm an ugly one. Well, if you're an ugly bitch, fine. But to a lesser extent, you can do the same thing. You can still go out, down the high street, get a kebab and a shag and a pint. Done. Like the women don't, the women are don't, never gonna be in a situation where they look around and they're like, I am actually completely alone. And that's the worst thing that will happen to a person, I think, is true loneliness. And that's why men kill themselves. What happened in America that you fled to Romania? What happened there? Because America is a failed society. If you can marry a woman and she can divorce you, take all of your money, take your children, and decide to turn your son into a girl and force hormones on him at five years or eight years old, whatever. That's a failed society. If you can't go to a cash point at 2 a.m. without the risk of someone shooting you in the head, that's a failed society. There's no freedom in America. You have to be careful what you say, where you go, what you're you do. You're starting to go There's dark no here. You're starting to go place. down that dark path again. The average man, that's a thankless job because he's building the roads, building your car, changing your oil, literally everything that it takes to make the world happy. Happen is done by the average man. Now, even the opportunity of having a family has been taken from him, right. which is a scary thought because what's going to happen to all these disillusioned men? Well, society collapses when you can't promise men a family. You get enough lonely single men in their young ages of like 20 to 30, right, with no family, no kids, nothing to die for, to stand for. You're going to have public tragedies keep happening. Soon they'll start targeting higher ups in government because you know, once the greed sets in from those that the top and they take more and more and more and you're left with nothing then you'll really see the quote revolt everybody talks about society collapses when you can't promise men a family and they're refusing to acknowledge its incompatibility with female nature with hypergamy it doesn't work but they don't want to acknowledge that they'd rather live in the fantasy land okay here i am in my basement as you can see i have um and some snacks and it's in the middle of the night now, I'm just showing people, if you want to see something real, well, this is as real as it gets. So you grinded away, you built things, you, you served others, and now when you finally ask for a little bit of it back, people say no, or you get ignored, or you get ghosted, or cancel culture, that's what cancel culture is, say. They, uh, they turn a blind eye to the men. They say, well, men are not as important as uh, the new way. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this is going to go in 2023 when men are going to be slowly um, going off the plantation, that they're going to disappear. And people are going to ask, oh, we need the men. Where are the men gone? And men are either going to be shutting themselves off from the rest of society or they're going to go uh, fly off to the east never return and people are just going to say well we got to fix this we're going we're gonna to have to do something well this is your warning right now I'm giving you guys a warning and it's the best I could do
I don't care if it's Chandler anymore and someone gets 20 subs. I don't care about people who don't make any content to me that they're lazy, um, bumps. Uh, you know what? You've been given everything. We're, we're at a time in society where we're at the peak of decadence. Okay? I'm drinking wine and eating Pringles for breakfast. <laughs> I deserve every bit of it though. Because I've, I've been working hard, steadily, and not even people in my circle, they come to help. They, they care more about their own channels. But yeah, good men are dying, not because of COVID, but because they're literally killing themselves. That's why a lot of men are disappearing. That's why. And yeah, most people today, they just, they just don't care. They don't care. And that's, again, this is why I had to make this video. A lot of good men, we've had enough. We don't have anywhere to turn to. Not even the church. Nowhere. And most men today won't even say anything. They'll just they'll leave it to the other guy to say something. So if you agree, if you agree with everything I just said and posted, feel free to share, like this video, and you're welcome to leave a comment. And hopefully that men will finally be able to um, voice their uh, dismay and that um, maybe there might be some hope that society can get back to the old ways which should, I believe, should happen and that's all I really got to say uh, about that. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.